Hello and welcome back to the Genesis Designs and Monocraft bench and another Book of Genesis video and today I want to show you, hopefully quite quickly, I'm hoping this will be quite a short one, how to really quickly and easily fill small gaps of the type you can see here on this wing route. This is the newly released Italeri P40 E slash K. It's actually the an old, old, old AMT moulding and the moulding is it's showing some wear in places, let's put it like that. So the fit here wasn't the best uh, and I've employed some uh, cocktail stick spreaders inside the fuselage just to spread it out a bit but there's still this very slight this sort of gap, there is a gap there but it's not very big and obviously to use um, see and talc filler or any other kind of putty that you need to sand is certainly doable but it's also a pain and it's a pain to reinstate all that detail as well so I'm going to show you some really quick and easy ways to make this an absolute breeze uh, involving Vallejo plastic putty this is the only type of filling I do with this stuff. You will get consistently mediocre results if you try to use this as a filling medium in pretty much any other way. So I don't recommend it, but for little things like this, it's actually quite ideal. This one might be a surprise. Mink Ultra Glue or similar, even ordinary white PVA can be used in this way or crystal clear, anything like that. But this does work perfectly well and this has the benefit of being a slight adhesive as well. And then on the other side I'll show you two slightly more uh, conventional types but used in a similar way that being Mr Surface of 500 and Tamiya Basic Putty. So starting at the beginning let's go with the Vallejo. So this is a, a white, it, it's a kind of a water-based, it says 100% acrylic resin, it's a kind of a water-based putty. If you apply it and try and sand it, it's, it's honestly just absolutely nasty. But for this kind of thing, it's legendary. So what I'm going to do is, it'll be very hard for me to really, really show you, but I'm going to squeeze and push it so that this media goes down into that gap. I don't just want it to be bridging across the top, I want it to go down inside that gap. And I'm not remotely concerned about what it looks like. There's what it looks like. And the reason I'm not concerned how it looks is because I'm now going to wipe it off. To do that you need a cotton bud and you need to moisten it. How you moisten it is your choice, okay, but I put it in my mouth. Excuse me. So, moistened. Wipey wipe. And there it was done. Um, hopefully you can see in that gap there is now just that trace of white that's just left in that in that slight gap there. And there's a little bit in these two panel lines that will clear that out when it's dry. And that's it. So that's that one. I think you'll agree that's pretty simple. It doesn't involve any sanding or messing about, no surface detail lost. All I would do to finish that up is maybe a little coat of Mr. Surface or Primer because it does tend to be a little bit porous. Uh, and sometimes you can see it when you put paint on because of that fact. So the next one I'm going to use is this Ammo of MIG Ultra Glue. Other brands are available, but it's basically this kind of fortified PVA sort of stuff and again my shot yes I'm using a cocktail stick and I'm giving it a good old podge to get glue into that gap if you're not in the gap you're just going to wipe it away basically again not remotely concerned how it looks at this point, I'll just show you how it does look. Like someone's blobbed a load of stuff all over it, basically. Again, with the cotton bud, use a clean one. Don't, <laughs> don't keep putting it back in your mouth if you're moistening it that way because you don't really want this stuff in your system. Not poisonous or anything, but... 
I don't usually eat PVA by choice, so again. Dampened with saliva and I'm just carefully wiping off the excess and the cotton bud goes straight in a bin. And there you go. You can't see it, it still looks like a gap because it's transparent, but it has just taken out that gap so now it just looks like a large panel line rather than an actual gap. And that's it, it's that quick, it's that easy. And for joints like this one, and let's say potentially a tail plane, so you pop this in position, and you'll quite often find that they fit beautifully on the top, there's often a bit of a gap on the bottom, like that. Uh, and those methods I've just showed you there are absolutely perfect for really quickly and easily just skimming out little gaps like that. You can't use it for massive gaps, obviously, but for little, very small gaps like this, it's perfect. Now, Mr. Surfacer. Mr. Surfacer 500 is the most coarse, or alternatively, the thickest of the Mr. Surfaces. It is almost like a putty in the bottom there. And all I do is bring it out with a brush. I did this earlier to allow it to dry, um, but I have painted Mr. Surfacer on this part of the joint and you can see that it's taken up that gap. On the front half of the joint, I've applied Tamiya Basic Putty. If I have to use uh, a conventional putty for anything it's always this I never use any other sort of putty this stuff is the best in my experience but I still use CA and talc most of the time in preference so the front part of the joint where the gap was slightly bigger I have applied Tamiya basic putty I wouldn't say liberally but it's certainly filling the gap now this time you need to use a cotton bud again Moistening it with saliva will have zero effect on anything. You have to use Mr. Colour Thinner. I would imagine you can use Tamiya Lacquer Thinner. You can definitely use isopropyl alcohol as well, although it isn't as efficient at removing the stuff as Mr. Colour Thinner is. But I'll just show you. So again, I've got a cotton bud, this time moistened with Mr. Colour Thinner. I'm just going to hit this putty. I'll tip it so that you can see what I'm doing. You can see that it's taking it off and it's going to perform exactly the same duty as those dampened cotton buds did on the water soluble media on the other side. But as you can see it just takes a little longer. And like I said, you can use isopropyl alcohol to remove both of these things, but they take just a little bit longer still to work. If you're nervous about damaging the plastic, then test on a piece of sprue or a part that you're not using. But I haven't yet managed to damage any plastic that wasn't transparent with Mr. Colour Thinner. And I use these methods quite frequently. Got it nearly there. I'm gonna. This end's gone a bit blobby and nasty, so I'll just switch to the other end. Pop a bit of thinner in there, and just finish off. And there you go. Again, just a tiny bit slower, and you've got the waiting for it to dry. But the the use method and the effect is exactly the same. And finally the Mr. Surfacer, shouldn't be any mystery, but I'm going to do the same thing. Cotton bud, Mr. Colour Thinner. It does wash off a lot more quickly than Tammy Putty, as you'd expect. Almost as fast as the water-based stuff, actually. There we go. And you can see that it has taken up that gap beautifully. I left a bit of the gap in the middle just to prove that there was actually a gap there. And there you have it. Ten minutes later, we're all experts on filling small gaps in wing roots, tail plane roots around radiator baths, um, even um, 
cockpit transparencies actually can be done in this way as long as you're careful obviously and you mask off the bits you want to see through there you go I hope that was useful it just goes to show that everything doesn't always have to be a struggle and sometimes the quick and easy methods are actually the best ones uh, if you do need to scribe this detail back in or if you want to I would suggest that rather than uh, scribing in the normal way you just lightly press because otherwise you'll just knock that all out of the gap but normally I don't rescribe over the top of a, a seam that's addressed in this manner but as I say for attaching things like nacelles and tower planes anything like that this is just perfect it's it's quick and it's easy so I hope that's helped some people um, so thanks very much for watching thanks for supporting the channel if anybody would like to directly support the channel there is the buy me a coffee option and that is listed below in the description and it's also in the about area of my youtube channel and i have just started an instagram page as well so if anyone's interested in that then pop over there to have a look uh, and as a side note there are some pictures of this model as it's been being worked on on the facebook page also anyway with all that said it only remains for me to say look after yourselves Look after each other and Genesis out.